Evening campers, it's me again. How are you all? This is a real quick little um, uh, thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I'm having a bad day today. Um, I'm going to quickly show you how I make my Baileys because I don't like the shop bought stuff. You do have to keep it in the fridge and you have to drink it fairly quickly. If you make it now, it will last until after the new year if you're lucky. I mean, if you haven't already drunk it. So, Baileys. I'm going to just put this down so you can see what I'm up to. Um, my phone is completely uh, doodard, so hopefully you can all see this. Right, so first of all, double cream. It's 300 mils of double cream. Pour it in. I don't like to waste double cream. It's too yummy. Um, so I'm going to give it a quick scrape. That's it. All the double cream in. The next thing to go in. Cab um, condensed milk. Okay. One tin. I bought, this, is one I, this is one I opened earlier. So that goes in. The whole tin goes in so it's cream condensed milk and then you can use either brandy or whiskey whatever you fancy I'm going to use brandy because I've just gone to the cupboard to get my whiskey out and I think my son's friends have drunk it um, so give that a good mix round and then we are add the alcohol so the alcohol brandy you can't see that. Um, I use the cut the tin to measure out the brandy. Sorry about this, just glugging away. We're nearly there. Look, nearly there. Perfect. And you pour that in. You get, then give a little splash of vanilla essence and stir. That is now ready. That's all it takes. Um, you could whip it a little bit to make it thicker if you want. I prefer it like this. It tends to thicken up slightly anyway. Uh, once it goes into the fridge because of the condensed milk in there and it does have to be kept in the fridge so now all I've got to do with this is bottle it and put it in the fridge I'm going to put it over here for now um, just out of the way because I'm going to quickly show you some yummy truffles that I make um, and it they're a bit like um, bounties but it, I don't know if you can see that if it's the lights funny but there's a, that's a whole pack of desiccated coconut. I've used organic this time. I've already pre-chopped apricots. They go in. And now I'm going to open my other and, and condensed milk. Okay. Now with the condensed milk, I'm going to open it. And we just pour in so much at a time. So we get the consistency right because we don't want it, we want it to hold its shape basically. Right, so we've got one of these. Um, you pour in about a third of, of, of the uh, condensed milk and you start mixing. If this is so simple, again, it's so simple, it's embarrassing, but these truffles absolutely go down a tree. I will be back with some more diff more truffles, different types. I've already made a filling for um, some nice dark chocolate and Cointreau truffles um, and I've also this year, this year my little friend Jill gave me some toffee vodka which I've now put in some truffles. Oh my god it's lovely. Right going back what are you saying? Hello, Chris. 
we say? Splash and whip. Oh, you tart, you. Right, here we go. So keep going. Mix up this. Th these are absolutely delightful when they're finished. Um, the actual recipe um, that I used, it, it's, you know, it's okay. Um, but I like to have a drizzle of chocolate over mine as well. And I also stand them on a little disc of chocolate. So I've already pre-melted my chocolate ready for my first truffle to show you. A bit more. Set. So I add a bit at a time because you don't want it too runny because it won't hold its shape. Um, there we go, nearly there. No, just a bit more. Okay, sorry about this. I don't have um, one I prepared earlier, but uh, never mind. Right, okay, so as you can see from this, it's, it's sort of all, oh gosh, all holding together nicely. Um, can you see that? Right, so then, once it's at that constituency, just give your hands a little rinse in cold water. I have just washed them previously, but uh, I just wanted to cool them off a bit. And here's my white melted chocolate. What we're going to do now is just put a blob of white chocolate down, a few blobs. And you don't need a lot because it will spread. I'll just make a few of these for the time being. Um, but yes, I'll be back with my um, my chocolate truffles as well. That will probably be over the weekend sometime. Um, but they are pretty delish and they make such a nice present for somebody. Right, so then you take, take your thing, your, your coconut mixture. And you make just a little ball of coconut. It just holds together quite nicely. And pop it on top. Some of them have more apricot in than others, but they are just absolutely delightful, especially if you're, if you're like me and you like um, uh, bounties and stuff. I love a bounty. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then what I do um, once I've finished all of the coconut balls, um, I... Um, make a little bag for the chocolate, the runny chocolate, and then I just literally drizzle a little pattern over the top of the coconut balls. John Ford, just want to say a great big thank you for that beautiful card. Thank June, please, not you. I know you you don't do it, so it's June. Thank June. It's the card is stunning this year. Loved it. I'm gonna. Um, I have to show uh, my cousin's granddaughter because she's a, an avid bird watcher and she'll be very excited about that one. So that's it. But see how easy this is though. It's, it's a bit messy. Look, a bit messy. Fingers and everything. But I'm not adverse to licking my fingers at the end of it. So, um, so that's it really. Once these are done, they need to go in the fridge to set. Um, and then they can be put into a container and stored, um, ready for um, either you eating them or you giving them as a present. Okay, I'm licking my fingers. Okay, all done. So... That's it for this evening, folks. Laura, hello, how nice to see you. How you doing? Fina, Cara, Becky, oh my gosh. Um, yes, yeah, so, really easy truffles. I'll be back 
over the weekend with the chocolate truffles. I'm just going to quickly show you. This is the truffle mixture. I haven't been sticking my finger in that. It was a spoon. Uh, and this one is the um, dark chocolate and cointro. Absolutely dead yummy. Um, but you say, really, really easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed that. Go and get your um, Baileys sorted. Put it in the fridge ready. Oh, it's my favourite. I just love Baileys. Homemade Baileys, that is. So, might as I say, mine's ready. Just got to bottle it. It might get to the fridge, it might not. But uh, have a lovely... Hello, Lisa. How are you? Um, yeah, so have a nice evening, everybody. I hope, hope you enjoyed that. And I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye. My truffles only work half the time. Is that because you keep eating them? Like the other half? <laughs> See you later. Love you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, Martin, you can be my taster. Speak to you all soon. Bye.